Hey, this is Charlotte Reed, the oil rubbing ranch wife. Welcome to the ranch and uh, say hi to Princess Leia who will appear in other videos. Uh, at the moment she just wanted to be up here in this video because she's been banging at me and now she's gonna take off. Okay, there she goes, running around. Okay, uh, I haven't done a video in eons. I guess you could say I've been on sabbatical if you will, because I have uh, been learning and doing many different things, but none of which are a video for you. And I'm sorry about that, but I have an interesting story. Many, it, it we'll get to in the minute in the video, it involves pain and crying. And uh, thanks Fred and Riley in the background for being the little, uh, the little helpers, the little uh, video bombers, I guess, if you will. Okay, so I've been on sabbatical uh, away from videos. I still use oils, still love oils, still love la natural medicine and alternative forms of healing, especially energy work. I've been growing and learning in my energy work. Uh, love that stuff. Uh, we still do school at home. We're still cattle ranchers and we still ride horses often. Not so much lately. It's been pretty snowy um, and it's uh, about calving time here. So that's been uh, busy for us. I still have goats and chickens and I am now into sheep. Uh, I grew up with sheep. My grandpa had a ton of sheep growing up, but I haven't had sheep personally myself ever. So this is fun. I am now into Navajo churro sheep. I've got a couple Wensleydales and a couple Lesters. They're all for hand spinning um, and weaving. Uh, I'm excited. I've always knitted um, and I've had a spinning wheel for a long time, but now I am, can get more into the knitting, spinning and weaving and processing my own wool. So I'm excited for the sheep. This is, this is a good thing. Uh, we are accomplished fiddlers now. We're going to our first fiddle contest this weekend where Riley will do her uh, be in the fiddle contest. Thank you for that. That's not really how she fiddles, by the way, but okay. Um, she'll have to play her fiddle for us one, on one video. Uh, we're going to a fiddle contest. There's Fred. That's not really how he fiddles either. But anyway, we're, we have fun fiddling. We had a successful mitt lighter garden this year, uh, this past year. Uh, it was the first time I've ever used the mitt lighter uh, concept in my garden. And prior to using mitt lighter, I had carrots that would turn out like Meh. And uh, I planted two rows of carrots and I have 150 pounds of carrots. We've been eating a lot of carrots lately. It's been pretty great. Go mitt lighter gardening. I also have planted an orchard and I tend some fruit trees. We've been on numerous roundups and cowboy in all summer long and all fall. In fact, there was one month, um, I think it was the month of October, where we were off our horse only a total of like four days out of the whole entire month. Um, we would do school at night or in the pickup on the way. It was great fun. Um, I've never had that opportunity and that was, that was pretty dang cool to be able to live on a horse. So um, it's been good. You've been on my mind and I've been thinking about you. I hope that you and your family are well and healthy and happy. Um, I hope that everything is okay at your house and that you're continuing to learn and grow uh, and, and accomplish many, many good things. Uh, but you've been on my mind and I've been compelled to do another video for you and here's the story of how that came out. So last fall I got a call, are you copying me? Because this is not very funny and I don't know about the brushes that are kind of gross. So, okay thanks. Kids. Um, you probably have homework to do, right? No. <laughs> So last fall, I got a call from uh, my oil company saying, hey, you've got about 100 videos that you've got to take down because they either show our name or labels or something, or you, you talk about a disease and you talk about a you know cure without using the cure word, because those are you, you're not supposed to talk about any of that, right? Because of the three-letter government agency, the word, that is monitoring all natural products. And they've really cracked down on this company of mine because this company of mine has just so exploded. You know, my team has just grown and it's just huge. And, and they said, hey, you've got 100 videos you got to take down. And so I thought, oh, that hurts and it stinks and it's a bummer, but you know, I understand. So I took them down, didn't really think much, but I just stuffed those emotions, stuffed them and kept on going with life, right? Because I had lots of cowboy in to do. So we deleted about 100 videos from off my sites. So that was like seven years of work, right? So uh, then I go on, it's fine. A week ago, I get phone call and emails from a, a company that's associated with my websites where I had a blog and I had team training sites and team funnel sites and sites to tell people about the oils and introduce them and teach them about them. About 10 websites got hacked malware on all of them. And I could have paid this company like oodles of money to fix them all and it'd have been fine. Or I could have just parked the domains and said, oh, I'm shutting them down for now. And so I did. I shut them down. I thought that'd be easier. I'll just start from scratch if I ever do it again. But pretty much at that point I was saying it's over. And that hurt. And that got me. So for the past week I had been in this emotional funk where I was just 
it was just heavy and I was just crying and it was sad because that was seven years worth of work. I've used oils for almost 10 years, but seven of those years with this current company where I've actually built a team and have a nice income from it. And seven years worth of, of blogs, essays, articles, stories, videos, gone. I can still feel there's a little bit of emotion there I gotta process out, but I'm saying that that was hard. And so last night it hit me and I got to a, a spot where I just couldn't handle it anymore. There's the lamb going to the bathroom on the carpet. Oh, she's about to go back outside with her sheep family as soon as her little leg will heal. So she's going to go get into her little cagey area right now. Not right now, as soon as I'm done. Anyway, so if you, if you don't have the book by Dr. Bradley Nelson called The Emotion Code, grab it because it's got the chart in there. You can find the chart online. It's really great. But you also need to read the book so that you can know how it works to, to process these emotions and let them go. So I thought of the chart, I wrote down my emotions, some of which were, you know, sad, sorrow, grief, hate, anger, um, depression, anxiety, guilt, shame, pride, fear, um, hurt, worried, upset, jealousy, whatever. So I had all of these emotions, wrote them down. I thought, oh my gosh, that's a lot to process. Uh, and then I ran the script. And if I still have a video up about the script, cool, check that out. If not, I'll have to do another one about how to use the script to process the emotions too. So I'm doing, I'm approaching these emotions from three different ways. Um, the first one was the emotion code. Uh, thank you, Dr. Nelson. The second was um, I'm ran, running the script. Um, I want to say Carol Truman did that one. Okay, the script. And then the third is the oils. Okay, so uh, emotion code script and oils. So then I started rubbing the oils as I'm processing these emotions, letting them out, and I'm replacing those uh, emotions with the positive supportive emotions of peace, joy, happiness, love, charity, uh, determination, faith, and hope. So those are the emotions I replaced into it. And uh, as, I'm, as I'm running the script and replacing, the oil, uh, replacing those emotions, I'm rubbing oils on my feet. So I take about... Um, four of the emotional blends of oils and I and I start rubbing rubbing them on my feet and uh, you know just a little just a couple of drops and I'm just rubbing and smelling and actually I'm doing more smelling than rubbing because on those they're more of uh, emotional is more of just a smell um, so you've got to just use the more aromatic uh, approach you know what now come to think of it I just re realized I remembered I also rubbed those eight oils I'll have to do a video on those um, that support all systems of the body. Um, hey, little lammy, good job. Good running, um, bad peeing. <laughs> uh, the eight oils that support all of the systems of the body. I'll have to do a different video on that one, but that I also rubbed those on my feet before I did the emotions, so that helped too. Uh, okay, so the, the emotional oils I used were forgiving myself and others, um, comforting the sorrow and sadness, the peaceful and reassuring, um, happiness... <laughs> You guys, the brushes are not microphones. <laughs> uh, peaceful and reassuring, and then the happiness, joy, and uplifting blend. So I rubbed all of those, and like I said, as I'm rubbing them, smelling, I'm replacing them with joy, peace, happiness. My kids, good job, Fred, thanks. And uh, it must have worked, because after that I felt super tired, I drank much water, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I just gotta sleep. So I went to bed, slept, and here I am doing a video the next day which is unusual because I haven't had any desire to do a video for months. So I must have done quite a bit of emotional clearing and I'm in a better place. Thanks, Fred. I'm in a better place so that I can share with you some of my journey. I feel like I've got a list of videos to do because of a list of things that I've learned, um, especially with oils and with healing and alternative medicine. So I've got a list of things. If you want to be a part of that, if you want to learn and, and learn with me, subscribe to this video so that you can... Um, what happened to your hair? Oh, it's pink. Oh, hair chalk, lovely. Okay, no. Okay, Fred, you gotta come over so you can push the stop on the video, please. Okay, thanks, love you, bye. Um, okay, this is Charlotte Reed uh, for The Ranch saying subscribe so you can stay updated on what's to come. Love you, bye-bye.